Good evening, I'm Pat Murphy, and this is JVLM Chocolate News, your daily dose of chocolate. Our top story tonight, counterfeit chocolate found in Canada. Early this morning, a student from State Polytechnic School uncovered a chocolate scandal the likes of which we haven't seen in years. A prominent chocolate company, which may not be identified at this time, is under investigation. It is said that the products they have been selling as chocolate actually contain vegetable fats and artificial sweeteners. As we all know, here in Canada and the United States, chocolate is not permitted to contain vegetable fats and oils or artificial sweeteners. If it does, it's not chocolate. It's, it's just, just candy. candy. Back in 2007, a number of companies that are part of the Chocolate Manufacturers Association in the United States, such, a, such as Nestle and Anchor Daniels Midland, began lobbying the FDA to change the legal definition of chocolate to allow safe, suitable vegetable fats and oils and artificial sweeteners. To date, no change has occurred, and so this chocolate crisis has hit the U.S. just as hard as it's hit us here in Canada. Chocolate expert Vic Swish here with me. Welcome, Vic. Thanks for having me, Pat. What can you tell us about non-chocolate products? It's not chocolate. After the chocolate liquor has been separated into cocoa powder and cocoa butter, the manufacturer will add a partially hydrogenated vegetable oil to the cocoa powder, thus producing a chocolate-like coating with similar characteristics to chocolate, but with no cocoa butter. Why do they do this, you ask? Why do they do this? Well, cocoa butter is expensive. The bad news, though, is that vegetable oil has a higher melting point than cocoa butter. This causes a waxy feeling in our mouths. Hmm, very interesting. Can you give us some examples of companies that are, are breaking the law and selling candy as chocolate? Well, the largest manufacturer that I would like to point a finger at is Hershey's. Hershey's. Other companies include Cadbury, Nestle, and even Mars. Incredible. Well, thanks for coming in, Vic. We really appreciate your expertise. Uh, and now to Ferrero Rocher for the weather. So today in White Chocolate County, there is a 20% chance of cocoa butter with a 14% chance of milk solids. Watch out for a slim 3.5% chance of milk fats. Over in Milk Chocolate County, we're looking at no less than 15% cocoa butter coming down. Also, they have no less than 2.5% of fat-free cocoa solids. Ouch, be careful out there. And there's a 12% chance of milk solids on the way. Moving on to Dark Chocolate County. They've got no less than 35% chance of total cocoa solids today, along with 18% cocoa butter. Moving in from the east is 14% fat-free cocoa solids. <sighs> Sounds like quite a storm. Today's weather has been brought to you by I'm Link's sorry, Swiss Ferrero, chocolate. but we'll have to cut the weather segment short tonight for this breaking news. We go live to Lynn Surley in Dark Chocolate County where a chocolate riot has broken out. What? We're at it again, Pat. Coating chocolate is angry at Kumbacher for not being treated like equal. You think they would know by now that legal requirements state that to qualify for Kumbacher status, they need to have between 32 and 39 percent cocoa butter, and the total percentage of the combined cocoa butter plus cocoa solids must be at least 54 percent. Kumbacher is fighting back because they don't want to be mistaken for coating. I have a quote here stating. Translation of Kumbacher is coating. Doesn't mean we're the same. We are shinier, have better snap, and better mouthfeel than that imposter coating. End quote. Now back to you, Pat. Thanks, Lynn. Pretty scary stuff in Dark Chocolate County. This concludes our chocolate news for the evening. Thanks for joining us here at JVLM Chocolate News. And that's your daily dose.